Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. This one will be a short one, I promise. Um, I just thought that with um, an influx of new subscribers that um, people that may have stumbled across my channel may have only just sort of discovered, discovered like witchcraft and Wicca and paganism. And you may be one of those people that's just sat there thinking like, I've discovered something really awesome. Like I've seen some like videos on witchcraft on YouTube or I've seen some uh, pagan posts on Instagram or blog posts or whatever it is and you may be thinking wow like I've, that, that really resonates with me like I feel really called to learn more like what can I learn what do I need to do so I thought that I would just pop up oh my legs are going stiff and sitting on the floor but I thought I would just pop up a really quick video to give you an idea of some topics that you could research as a new witch as a new witch baby witch starter witch whatever you want to call whatever term you want to use i just thought it would be give you an idea of witchcraft also as well it could be some things that you could include in your book of shadows like whatever i just thought it'd be fun to just pop it out here for you so um, some of the things you could research is different types of witchcraft as I'm sure that you probably aware witchcraft is very very different from sort of like your organized religions in the fact that there is so many different uh, paths and traditions and different ways that you can effectively practice your craft so it is probably a good idea to research what different types of witchcraft and paganism wicca that there is and then you can sort of research them and see a feel have a feel of what you sort of call to learn more about the history of witchcraft is another very good one i mean you could learn all about the sale like the salem witch trials i find that really interesting you learn about wicca from thousands of years ago right up to modern day there is so much information and you may say well why would i get this information there's information on youtube you just gotta google it if you literally google and put in the history of witchcraft there's going to be thousands of web pages that come up there's so many books on the topic there's youtube videos there's podcasts there's Post, there'll be posts on Instagram and uh, Facebook groups you can join and there'll be posts where you can learn more about that and literally the world is your oyster in that respect and um, you can also learn about different types of spells and spell casting as there are spells that you could work for any uh, situation in your in your life so spells to help help you uh, uh, with motivation feeling inspired help you sort of to push forward with whatever goals you have help you to um bring love into your life or um feel love for yourself or to jobs anything anything there's so many things i can't even think of them all uh the next one is 
you could uh, research about alters and what different tools there are that you could use um my working altar that you can see just about in the shot but I'm gonna it's in the intro in the intro to my videos and I'm gonna do a, another video as I haven't done one on my altar for a while so that's something that you could uh research what different types of altars and um, there are or how people set up their altars and uh what different tools they use and it may give you inspiration for building your own altar uh different divination techniques so divination is obviously uh divining the um divining sort of the f uh, future sort of giving you an idea of uh like fortune telling almost that science it sounds cheap but it's not so different types there's loads of different types of divination uh there's tea leaf reading tarot oracle reading uh you can look into rune stones um clairvoyance clairaudience there's so many different different types of um divination so that would be good that's a really good topic to research uh the elements is another one that you could that would be a really good topic to research so you have in uh witchcraft and paganism i'm only just trying to show you my top and hopefully i didn't flash you there <laughs> so the only reason why i'm up like this is just briefly to show you for the elements in uh in witchcraft wicca paganism we have for the pentagram or the pentacle we have the five you have the uh, we have five points to our sacred star so the top point is the spirit and then you have the earth you have um earth air uh fire and water so da 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 oh i'm gonna point to which was which on camera because i feel like i'm gonna get it wrong so spirit um earth air uh fire water uh. i feel like i've got it the wrong way around i have i think so switch around what i said but that was literally just an just literally just an example of okay so next thing you could learn is about sigils and symbols there are lots of different symbols in um in witchcraft and paganism that you could learn about and you could incorporate them in uh your book of shadows your everyday practice spells whatever and you could also learn how to draw your own for sigils as well, which is really cool, and power them with different intents that you're trying to bring about in your life. Colour correspondences as well, that's a great one to learn more about, especially when you progress on to casting your own spells and rituals, as you will find it beneficial. For example, if you're wanting to attract more money in your life, you may feel that the colour correspondence of green you associate with abundance. So you may want to use green candles in your spells, green herbs, green whatever. That's a very, very basic example. But I hope you get the drift of what I'm trying to say or gist of what I'm trying to say from that. Moon magic, so moon phases and moon cycles we do sort of tend to follow as so more sort of like lunar lunar calendar so it is very good to learn about when the moon is going to be full when it's going to be waxing and waning and new as different spells performed at these different points in the lunar cycle will have different outcomes and it's just it's um just a very helpful thing to learn in the beginning when you are first on your path i know i did years ago i struggled to 
um, when looking at the moon to sort of be able to tell the difference between waxing and waning and it takes a while but once you do it's awesome you can just look outside and be like right the moon's waning the moon's waxing but you can go online and get a, a lunar calendar or you, there's apps that you can um, find out what phase the moon's in and yeah so that's good herbs crystals and essential oils more tools and things that you can use in your rituals and spells there is a vast array of crystals and this is one of my personal favorites moonstone moonstone and rose quartz are my favorite crystals personally there are so many crystals so many herbs and so many essential oils that you could incorporate in a vast amount of ways into your spell work um so working sort of spirit work working with spirit is something you may potentially want to look at meditation and how to ground yourself after rituals and spell work is very important to learn about the god and goddess and the different types of god and goddesses as well that is something that you may find super helpful starting out casting circles for again when you're going to be learning um when you're going to be doing your first spells and rituals there are different ways to sort of uh, cast a circle i will probably cover that in a video very soon but there are loads of different ways different methods so it's it's good to have a look at what different methods there are and try them out and see what what resonates with you um Again, I covered the moon phases, uh, the different sabbats, so the wheel of, wheel of the year. There are eight sabbats. So we've got Samhain, uh, we have Yule, we have Imolk, we have Ostara, Beltane, Lithia, Lassard, and Mabon. As I'm filming this, we are coming up to Beltane. So that that's another integral part to learn about the wheel of the year so that's something very good to learn about and also learning about the uh pentagram and the pentacle as well is another very good topic to research so yeah i think i'll leave it there as i feel like i've given you quite a few different topics to get your teeth into if you have any other topics that you think uh, beginner witches may find helpful then leave them below in the comments or if you don't want to leave a comment you can message me and I will put it in a post on Instagram or something or put it in the comments on this video or whatever but I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.